everybody. Welcome to the D-Pad. I'm Rick, and this is Persona 4 Golden, Ugh, where the mic stand is being a little bit of a pain. Uh, I gotta get one of those, one of those, well, I have my, I have my, like, desk swinging arm mic, but I don't have it attached right now because the desk that all the computer stuff on is quite full of equipment. There's not a lot of space for it. I also gotta decide if I wanna get, like, there's, there's folks who have, uh, um, I see a lot of um, I don't even know what to call the channels. Just like general YouTubers and stuff that have like a like it looks like a Sure mic or something, but it's one that catches it from a little further out. I think it's one of those like mini shotgun style situations there, and I kind of want to do that for streaming just to keep this out of my face. I feel like the this is probably going to be okay, but I feel like I'm constantly like my my face is behind here, and it's a little bit distracting and a little bit hard to engage with if if my mouth is hidden. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, but yes, welcome, welcome, folks. Hello, Arrow. Hey, nobody. Hunter Green as well. Uh, oh boy, I'm like trying to remember where we were last time. I think we had just finished doing some stuff with. Uh, we we had just didn't we bring? Uh, um, oh my god, I've forgotten his name to the hospital or something. He's not a member of our party. I think I think he's in the intro though, so I assume that he's going to be in our party at some point, perhaps soon. Uh, it's evening, so we could go and do something, but I think, unless there's something in the fridge, I think, oh, it's raining. Should I be looking at the, at the, uh, the midnight channel is the real question. Let's look in the fridge. Nothing catches my eye. Okay. Uh, there was a book that I was reading. Kanji, that's right. How did I forget Kanji? It'd be like if I if it'd be like if I was playing. Oh my god! I can't even come up with a good example. No good examples. None exist. It'd be like it'd be like I'm trying to think of one from like a non-Japanese developer, and I don't play a lot of games that don't come that that come from non-Japanese developers. The longer I'm thinking about it here, it'd be like it'd be like playing an Ubisoft game and forgetting a character. What what would what would even be I, I was going to say for an English for like an American or or British uh uh but like uh, playing playing Banjo-Kazooie and there's a character called Alphabet. <laughs> uh, I've never played Persona 4 before. No, this is my first time playing. I played Persona 3 I think 4 or 5 years ago. Uh and I have not played Persona 5 either though Sarah has. And uh, at some point, I will play it. I'm not going to wait so long to play Persona 5 afterwards, but... Uh, okay, it is a Midnight Channel night. Damn. I was like, ah, oh, it'd be cool to go up and read more of that book that I was going to read. But I guess we're watching the Midnight Channel. What do we got? What do we got on here? It's midnight. Yeah, so far, no spoilers other than the... Um, is that writing on the... On the curtain. Are those newspaper clippings? Wait a second. It looks like the texture of the curtains are newspaper clippings. It's kind of fitting given we've got uh, like a murder mystery style thing going on here, but interesting. Um, yeah, no, the only spoilers I've really had are the opening titles for this game. I'm also like, I'm going to move this down a little bit. Will hopefully be a little bit better. There we go. Now I'm too high. That's fine. Uh, the the opening, like little animated intro thing, shows I believe all the party members of the game. Uh, I mean, is that kanji on the curtain? Yeah, yeah. No, it looks like it looks like because it looks like English <laughs> kanji. Uh, it's a newspaper clipping highlighting kanji's disappearance. No, it looks like it looks like English or. I can't read. Can I read it on here? It's not going to be close enough on here. I'm looking on the TV. Something is. What was that? Oh my God. They're all, they're all at just the right angle to make it as hard as possible to read. T any E N T is or, or I can't tell what that letter is. Is it an M? I don't know. It'd be very funny if it was if it was Memento Mori as a as an additional reference to the to Persona Three like that calendar over there, but um, yes, yeah, the calendar is Persona Three. Yeah, I had noticed that in a previous stream. I thought that was kind of a fun thing there. Uh, Something looks like scientific notation. Oh, it might be. 
I'm like just far enough. If I got up and and walked over to the TV, I might have a chance of like deciphering a little bit of this. But uh, oh yeah, but this is what like RPGs in particular. Like the whole draw of an RPG, in my opinion, is the story. Like the battle system is pretty neat and all, but at the end of the day, when it comes to RPGs, I'm I'm more interested in the story that they're building than anything else. Um, Skanji has been rescued. It seems the killer was thwarted this time. Huzzah! I don't know when the next mystery will begin. The Fog Shrouded Shopping District. I suppose we're starting a new chapter right now. Again. Hmm. No, come this way. Come this way. It's the village from Wonder Woman. All right, well, we're not going to have another mystery for a while, I guess. All right, what should I do today? Well, I could watch some TV. You haven't bought anything this week. I bought something on Sunday, so... Or maybe it does that every time, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or whatever it was. I just done you much further along the last... Yeah, the YouTube up the YouTube ones are, are on their way. Uh, they're, uh, I think the streams are two behind on VODs right now. I think five and six. This should be number seven. But the first four, I believe, are now online on YouTube, and those should be coming over the next week as well. We should. I'm, I'm working on. I've got almost all of the Twitch streams ready for upload at this point. There's like three or four, but they're going to be coming pretty rapidly over the next week, so we get all caught up. Um, partly because we're about to hit a thousand streams, which is fucking bonkers to think about. Uh, shopping program. Yeah. Our our streams have our streams have grown a lot. Alright. This is Tanaka's amazing commodities, the mail order television program being broadcasted live to you. We guarantee your purchase will meet the satisfaction of a fair market price. Let's introduce the products available for these three days. It's Jingi Fundoshi. Tie them tight to boost your vitality. Tie them tight? But it's a torso P is it multiple layers? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's wonderfulness. I'll add slimming food times two to your Jingi, fu jingi Fundoshi for uh, all for the low price of only 11,800 yen. We've got another fantastic product on sale today, Inaba Trout, a fresh fish combo. On top of this, I'll add two Amber Sima to your Inaba Trout for only 2980 yen. So we're looking at about 14, what is that, 14,780? I think that's what that is. Oh, right, yeah, but we can't do both. Uh, I don't want the fish. The fish is fine and all, but I want I want the gear. Yeah, a thousand streams is fucking crazy. Uh, uh, some of them have been like reaction streams. A bunch of them have been like Jeff streams, Dave, CJ, uh, John, Sarah. Um, the bulk of them have definitely been mine. Uh, but yeah, we've been streaming since... Oh God, when was our first stream? I think it was when we did um, Back to the Future. I did a Back to the Future and Super Mario World set of streams. It was a it was a weird it was a weird time. It was a weird time. Uh, but yeah, no, it's been it's been about a decade of streaming, give or take. I can double check actually when the first one when the first one happened there. But yeah. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Eric. I'm like just catching up on the chat. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean we're we're trying out some interesting stuff. I got a couple plans that I'm that I'm kind of in early days on that might be kind of interesting to see how they play out, but who knows? We'll see. In the meantime, it's been it's been fun just kind of it's been kinda, it's been fun just kind of playing games and making stuff. So we'll see. Uh, Fendoshi are the thing that sumo wrestlers wear. There is no top. Okay, I'm still confused as to what the them is, though. I guess I'm trying to think. I guess grammatically. I feel like clothing worn on the lower half tends to be pluralized, even if it's one article, right? Like pants is is itself already kind of plural. Underwear, I feel like, un yeah, a pair of underwear. Underwear tends to be like, you know, those underwear, not that underwear. Though I guess you could do both. I don't know. Uh, yeah, right? It's so cool that he's selling used underwear on TV. Very cool. It's only used because the last person that wore it had the uh, the slimming food, and well, that usually doesn't have a great reaction on the inside. Now here's the thing. Okay, so I am allowed to work. I am allowed to read, and nobody's bothering me yet. So the 
question is, oh, I haven't checked on this at all. In about one day. I'm going to just harvest it tomorrow. Um, I'll walk around a little. No, 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 no. Right. When I leave, I go till the evening. I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to read. It's a rare opportunity to get, to get this done without, um, without interruption. So. Okay, lovely man was courage. That was for knowledge from studying. Diligence from envelopes. But there was one that was diligence and something else, right? Witch detective. <coughs> Excuse me, my god. Expression understanding. Finished to be able to... Yeah, I think witch detective wouldn't hurt to squeeze in some more reading for it. Because then it'll be time to get off to the races with uh, with work. Um, and kind of figure, figure that out there. Uh... Yeah, it's just a bummer that it takes four days to get through it. But it's also it's got to be it's got to be good for like being able to get two stats poked upwards is gonna help. Plottingly written romantic comedy about a girl on her first day of school in a new town. Vampires are involved. Ah, so it's Twilight. Would this have been? Would this have come out around the same time as Twilight? It would have been pretty close actually. Kind of this book was almost physically painful for you to read. Uh, the localizers are not fans of Twilight. There we go. Still some pages of Witch Detective left. I mean, I guess it's a common enough trope, but... But it does seem pretty on the nose for Twilight. Nanako! Sure. Twilight was a year before Persona 3. Jeez. I'm much older than I thought. Holy cow. Okay, so plenty of time for that to kind of ruminate a little bit. Got it. Months. It, it's French. It's my six. Hey, buddy. Uh, hi there. Hey there. Where'd the manners come from? That was an interesting interpretation of of that exclamation. I would figure that'd be like a very, um, like a snorting laugh. I would do it right now. I'm a little congested. I would straight up make my microphone disgusting. So I'm not going to do that. Well, um, I didn't know you guys were my senpai. It's always interesting when, when the, like when the, the just Japanese terminology sticks around. Oh, I got to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my God. Like, obviously, Senpai gets the point across in one word if you're familiar with what Senpai is, but um, using polite speech was horrifically out of care. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, uh, thanks a bunch. Using so using so much proper terminology, we ought to call you katakana. Actually, I don't know enough about Japanese to know which, which of the kana is used for, <laughs> for more proper... Uh, usage and speech. Though I don't really remember what happened. He does seem like a bit of a nice guy who's just short fuse. Like you to tell us about. All right. First off, who is that boy you met with? <laughs> I, really don't oh, I just realized. It was a little low on the volume there. This is hopefully a little better. Well, yes, they are right. They're writing, not spoken. I suppose that's true. I mean, I've only met him twice. Um, yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Boys. Uh, well, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. Huh. I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. All right, hey. To a guy. Yeah. I uh I don't really get it myself. Chia, you were there when all of that shit was going down in his in his mind palace. This shouldn't be this shouldn't be a, a confusing concept for you right now. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so you know, I <laughs> really don't like dealing with it. Chia's not gonna take this particular line well. Guys are a lot more laid back. So uh Oh no reaction, okay. I started thinking what if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? Okay. And I couldn't accept that. 
so I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about. I mute myself and blow my nose. Dudes. I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, our family's run a textile shop for generations. Oh, yeah, you, you already knew that. My parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. And that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since Ever I was back. Kid. Second, I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Oh boy, poor Kanji. Me, the people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal, so I was sick of everything. Kanji invented being a gay punk, like punk rock punk. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. No, you'll grab as hell. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt it. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta get we gotta get uh Oh my god, Ryoka uh Ryuko? Is that her name? Ryuko Matsui? Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. God, I haven't watched Kill Kill in a while. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. But there are people standing in front of you! You're a good kid. You're also a kid. Uh, don't, don't call me a good kid. <laughs> just... <laughs> My toy, thank you. You're embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. It's an interesting response, Yosuke. Hey. Is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? The points of the game, honestly, pretty ahead with the time of Conscious character when they do it right. Yeah, it's been it's been a little like there's been a a, a pendulum effect, uh, in there where, yeah, there's cer there's certain beats that they definitely hit pretty wrong, but there's others that are like okay, all right, all right. You know, after you chased us away and said you were gonna take us down, down to the police station for harassing me. I went home. I was going to sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... To your house? Who was <laughs> it? I don't know. I've never met anyone who's sexually aroused by houses before. Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I, mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. Uh, other okay. Than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. So... Maybe people are being kind of like charmed or entranced or something, and kind of pulled in, you know. When I woke up, oh yeah, that's laid out on the floor of that sauna place. That that was that was what reminded me of Ryuko, as the name was. I'm like the two of them yell each other's names so much. Dark entrance. A dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? No, I couldn't fit inside a TV. What? What? I don't have TVs that big. Huh? Now that you mention it, maybe so. so let's flip this this way. There we go. Hopefully that wasn't too much noise. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Tell him you've also been in there. Did the police? Oh my ask God. Me? My mom had called the cops to look for me. I mean, so I could fit in my TV at this point also, but like, you know, a decade or so ago, maybe not. I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. So like, some are you guys color appropriate detective or something? mellow yellow for tonight as well. My uncle's a detective. Something like that. Anything I can do to help? Join the gang. There's some bastard out there who put me through this. I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? 
Forget it. No, of course you can't. Thank you, sir. I did not drink blue soda during fest. If I had thought about it, there was a place down the street from where I think from where we were. Oh no, it was it was the apartment before, but they sold a uh, like blue bear, uh, blue raspberry. Um, oh god, it's a it's a I think it's a pretty local brand of uh, of soda. I can't remember the name. Best. But if I if I saw the label, I'd definitely recognize it. But it'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Oh! Sweet. Better fools, well, bigger fools, better fools. Yacht November. club. Um, it might have been. No, I don't think it was Yacht Club. Labels do not look quite right. It was a very like basic looking logo. It might have been it might have been a very local thing. I hate out so my mic looks weird because when we moved, I packed a bunch of these mics, these these um uh foam covers, pop covers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, into a bag and kind of mushed it down to save space and a bunch of the dye from them came off of each other so there's like pink mic cover fuzz that is embedded into the green one so I usually try to spin it away so it's less obvious but it's kind of it looks like it's kind of all over it it makes it look really dirty and gross there we go that's better there we go that's the clean side uh, yeah, it looked like for a second there I did a, I did a double take. So I'm like, is it just my face that's covered? But no, I'm behind. The shadow would be coming from this side. But yeah, it's just like it makes it look gross and weird. So I try to hide it when I can. Should we take him to our special headquarters? I ha I don't know if I've ever had Mellow Yellow until like this past month, which I Where's only bought because I'm, I'm also playing Undertale Yellow. What? What's that? Come on, let's go. Which I think I'm going to be finishing this week, actually. What? Nope. Get Undertale Red for... I was actually... It's funny. I was thinking about it earlier today. I announced my Undertale stream, my original Undertale stream, while playing Persona 3, like right in the middle of it, and I played them side by side, and now here I am playing Persona 4 and Undertale Yellow side by side. <coughs> also, I am absolutely certain that about 800 Undertale Reds already exist, even though I think Frisk is the red heart anyway, so it wouldn't make a lot of sense, but I'm sure there is one. And also, like every... AU fan game uh, is is red tinted in some way or another minus like 5% of them so clearly I will have to play someone's underfell fan game while when I do Persona 5 I guess where I could be Kara I guess that's also true I think Kara also has a red heart right because the so other six kids uh, that have different colors what, what, what is he beating them to death W were you being beaten to death, Kanji? No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at or all? Or Deltarune. That's a good point. And honestly, I'm trying to keep... I'm doing my best. It's been tough. I've been doing my best to stay spoiler-free on Deltarune also. Because I do want to play that when it's done. And it seemed like the next two chapters are being done side by side. And are getting close to done, the last I heard. So, like... Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll keep an eye out, and when under and when Delta Rune is looking like it's about to be ready, we'll uh, we'll do Persona Five. We'll pair these two together forever. I'll just have to figure out something different when the Persona when the inevitable Persona Two remakes happen. Oh, don't worry, he'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. Just sit him down in front of a TV. Uh, I'm playing it on. I I have a PS Five. I'm playing the P uh, the PlayStation Network version. Uh, that's not true. Not play, uh, oh, actually, it's the PS4 ver PS. I think it was a PS4 version that they released last year or the year before. But I'm playing it on a PS5. I also had pre-ordered. It's up on my shelf. I can't get it right now. But I had pre-ordered the disc for 
Xbox at some point. I don't know when I did that. I don't know why I did Xbox instead of PlayStation, considering I played Persona 3 on the PS3. But here we are. So I am playing the PlayStation version of, of this. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. It happened to Yukiko? You kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah. I mean, it kind of sounds like it was kind of one action, the kidnapping and the throwing. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Whoop. Yeah, I keep wondering who will show up next. Hey, Earthbound or Live Alive? That's fair, yeah. I haven't, I, I have not finished Earthbound and never played Live Alive. That wouldn't be bad, that wouldn't be bad. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. Crashing and save corruption issues, oh no, oh dear. Yikes. Yeah, I, I wound up getting this on PlayStation because I was like, eh, you know what? This uh, it, it feels right to be playing Persona on PlayStation after after the last one. I'll probably keep doing it on PlayStation because literally otherwise, I have very little to play on this PlayStation. Uh, I honestly barely even play Xbox games, but I at least have a few more of those. Like Sonic Frontiers was an Xbox game for us. What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? Oh. Who the hell do you think was next? Gah. <laughs> His name is Kanji Tatsumi. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. Still got a little bit of that uh hmm, choice of terms here. So who are you dipshits? Hang on, I got to run in place for a second while I turn. All right, I'm out of here. Boring. It, I think it was a limited run games thing. Maybe they just didn't even have a PlayStation version, but well, that would seem weird. They usually do. So yeah, I don't know I what happened there. It. Sure, they have no ideas related to the murders, but still, how can they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Dying to see. <laughs> Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's going to be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption well, that all the victims are female. Right, but didn't you make the connection with his mom? What was the other thing we thought they had in common? Moms. People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? Well, it's both right and wrong, because... Yuki and Kanji were not involved, but their parents were. So, like, both, all three of these are technically correct. Um, I think it's correct enough to work off of, but... Well, both Yukiko and Kanji-kun were involved in some way or another. Also, Kanji-kun, because he is their, their junior, I guess. But that announcer was dealing with their mothers, not them. Exactly. Thank you, Yosuke. You guys saying you don't have any clues? We ain't no detectives around here. Hey. Well, listen up, because I got something big. No, no, not in public. Not in public. We can later. What's that? It's a. It's my finger. Look at it. I put tape on it. It's cool, right? It's cool. Where you guys? Where are you going? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today. There was an annoying brat hanging around. <laughs> Turns out he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. Is he going to refer to every individual member of the team as senpai for the entire game? I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? Uh, okay. I guess that's true. They ha they're not that familiar yet. They're going to be, obviously, but... Ironically, all three of these seem like things that would be relevant here, considering the the uh, the woman is an Inca singer. The first murder was the female TV announcer. And list of TV programs would presumably also include the Midnight Channel or some variation on that in there. I wonder if the albums 
I wonder if she. Well, okay, it's way too fast for her to be releasing albums for it to be, you know, relevant here. But if there, if an album had a lot of songs that were themselves kind of prophetic, oh my god, watch it be, watch it be. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Theory time. Theory time. The culprit is someone who is a super fan of the Enka singer, like fanatical, and is carrying out these murders and attempted murders to please her essentially or to get her attention maybe both and is getting probably increasingly frustrated that there are more witnesses and the circle of people who needs to be brought in is getting wider i'm still not entirely convinced i'm still not convinced that uh that um i've forgotten his name uh, uh gumshoe number two is not is not either involved or the main dude or something. Just even I don't even care that he's that we've got a social link with him. He's there. He's too nice. He's too nice in this in this game, and we see him skulking around in the background too much. I'm gonna go Enka album chart. There we go. That's my that's that's my bid. That's my bid right now. I hear her album sales have gone up since the incident. If she knows about it and she's using it to sell her songs. That's pretty sketchy. It's her manager. She has an alibi, though. I don't think this involves her. Let's move on. Okay, I feel announce her popularity since since I can apparently read all of them until I get it right. Miami Yamano's are on the lower middle of the list. Does this mean she wasn't that well known until the incident? It's just this guy's personal rankings. Nothing important. What is the next one? Okay, maybe all three of them are not important. Mayumi Yamano, 411. Wait. These are TV listings. Why? Why do they have... Okay. What are these dates? April 11th? Oh, they found the first body on the day school started. So that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki-senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. That was two days before... So then what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? What's Saki Konishi April 13th? The day she was captured? The day she was on TV, yeah. I see. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Hmm. Yeah, I saw that too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. Then this part. Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV, too? Oh, she was on. I remember now. That was when the affair hit the news. Hmm. Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed, too? <clears throat> when did that interview air? Uh, I think it was when I was absent from school. Um, it was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? Yes. I don't remember the date. I went shopping that day, so... April 15th. And right after that, I was kidnapped. All right, is her name on there with 415? What about the television special you were on? Oh, yeah, that thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot that he was on TV. The date, just tell us the date. Would have been like 5, 7-ish? Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. It's true then. Everyone was on TV huh. before they disappeared. Okay. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. Yeah. That seems like Now that I think about it, a very likely thing the to killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some Yeah, I mean the killers following. Serial killers often uh, often have like a rule set that they work with, right? That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I mean, he could, but also like usually I feel like they wouldn't go after the same person twice. You'd imagine that someone who'd just been targeted like that and lived would be way more like paranoid and, and cautious about stuff. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. 
The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also <laughs> shown on the mass media. The mass media. That must be it. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Hmm. Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Why can't I be smarter? Could they be targeting people who they decide are making the town worse for some reason? Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. That's more than enough. You rescued me, too. Massachusetts media, yeah. From on uh, WBG Studios. Sorry, WBZ. Now I've been playing Star Force too much. WBZ. Channel 4. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. WBZ, the local the local CBS affiliate. We got Fox 25. Though sometimes it's Channel 13. I never really understood what the deal with that was. That's true, but... I think ABC was Channel 5. NBC was Channel 7. What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanjikun might be next was right on the nose. This is, a, this is a rambling response pretty much exclusively for people like 25 years or older because I... I feel like almost nobody has basic has basic cable anymore. I know. We were so close. Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier then. I mean, we tried. Ha 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 ha. Well, if we know <laughs> this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Until they pull a fast one. Don't forget. It's always possible that Kanji Kun was the last target. So we're going to watch TV on rainy nights obsessively for the rest of our lives. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways, <coughs> let's keep checking the midnight channel like usual when it rains. Sure. That reminds me. The school campout's next week. I hope it doesn't rain. There's definitely rain on the schedule. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji. Ain't that convenient? Seriously? School. Huh? <laughs> Look at that face. Yo, mind if I order another grilled steak? I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're uh, we're going Dutch on the meal, right? <laughs> well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. <laughs> Uh, sorry, there's a bear. What's I'm up? sorry, there's a bear? Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Oh my god. Man, I can't decide. None of it. Ha <laughs> ha! What? Womp 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 womp. We ain't paying for shit. Uh. What is he gonna wear for glares? Gonna get a deep, oh, yeah. deep blue gray kind of thing. It, I kind of remember this thing. Didn't think it was a bear though. Yeah. Hey, why is it a bear? God, you can't just ask why someone's a bear. I don't know. <laughs> Me neither. I've been wondering too. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Mind if I pet you? <laughs> Not touching allowed, Mister. Whoa, hey, Teddy. <laughs> Hey, don't give me any lip bear. I don't even know what a lip bear is. We're going to find out Teddy is actually Gumshoe Number 2's uh, shadow guy. Uh, by the way, I've, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. Hey, where are your Groucho Marx glasses? So, like... That means you came out to everyone. Hello, hello. Time. Not too much. We've we've chatted with Kanji. We got kind of his side of the story. We've got a new theory to be working off of, which is uh, people appearing on mass media just prior to their to their capture. What was it like for <coughs> Senpai? <coughs> Whoa. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. So what? Hard. <laughs> what the hell? My jaw. I'll be more gentle next time. Yuki. More gentle? What a pair of dimwits. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I'm not even sure what he said that that, that brought a slap for him. I'm thinking that dark blue purple kinda. 
a dark, uh, a dark, semi-faded violet color. Hurry and put them on. Hurry. Huh? Sure, but hang on. Aren't these oh. everyone else's? Oh no! Did he get the joke ones? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's why she wasn't she wasn't wearing them. It, it looks perfect on you, <laughs> Yuki. You just slapped him. Come on. Cackling like a mad woman. <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh my! Is this hazing? This seems like hazing. <coughs> I had a normal pair ready for you, but you can chime Oh my god! This one. She wouldn't budge. You know what they say about non-budgers? Oh, smartass. That was a poorly timed animation. Why are you taking it out on me? Because you could have rebelled. Give me that. <laughs> Yeah, wait a minute. It's the same set. <laughs> you took my spare pair. Oh god damn it. Anji, you must really like those. <laughs> oh, oh my side. Gah. Even we're laughing. No. This is the real He just launched them into the into the ether. Is he, is he wearing Morpheus shades? What are those? Did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? Okay, so they're very similar to Yuki's silver frames, though they just kind of look like Morpheus glasses from here. Damn it! I'll get you guys for this someday. <laughs> Excuse me. You're back. It's not what you said. Uh, well, we got to do this first. Harvest the vegetables. Let's all hang out together. Boop a doop a doo. They look good. Oh, we're not getting the other line. All right. All right. Let's get some veggies. Great vegetables. Great vegetables to you too. I love planting go homes. Well, I guess we're doing tomato seedling. Oh, Shadow and the Groucho Marx glasses would be great. That'd be an awesome little brick joke for later on in the game. Just the next, the, if you, it like, you see just some little sprightly kind of character and they're just wearing those. It's been like a week since you did this, man. I'm, excited. I'm sure you are. All right. Choco Flakes. Sure. Why are they in the fridge? Chilled chocolate was ridiculously sweet. Okay. Hey. Mm. You know what? No. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to pass on doing stuff with these two for a little bit so that I can focus on getting the book finished because that's going to give us a little bit more leverage with other stuff. This will help out with stats and things, so... We still have lots of time left to get the to get the other two up to there. Oh, the instant noodles really hit the spot. <laughs> hey, who's that dead kid? You know, the rainy season's just about here. Is that so? Isn't it a little early? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. It, w it will? I keep a constant eye on the midnight channel. Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I thought you were worried about the rain because of the school camp out. Uh. Why are you so excited about that? I don't know, sounds fun. That's right, it's the first time for you two. You realize the only purpose of the school camp out is to develop a love for one's hometown and young people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they tell us that up front, so... <laughs> Well, you see, 
the way we supposedly develop that love is by picking up trash off the mountain. Picking up trash? Develop a love my ass. That's slave labor. Can't say de I can't say develop a love my ass at all. Can't say it on YouTube either or Twitch. Well, the night's kind of fun. We cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. Okay. The four of us are in the same group. Ain't that convenient? The same group, huh? That's a lot of noise. Does that mean we sleep together at night too? Yosuke, chill. You wish. Guys and girls sleep in different tents. Like obviously. I'm warning you. If you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. Oh, this gets worse and worse. I thought it was going to oh be Oh my fun. god. It's only for one night and we just band before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. I was going to say that sounds like that's less than yeah, that's less than a day probably. That seems like a weird oh, amount we of Did have some fun at the river before going home last year? Okay. Do they let you go swimming? No, we pick up trash out of the river. I think so. There's always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. We got our beach episode coming up. I see. So you can swim in the river. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. This week is health week. I don't like where this is going. Part of the student health is uh, you're not part of the student health association. In other words, you're a lazy bum. I hate lazy, good-for-nothing kids like you, so I'm signing you up to take the place of a sick member. Uh, wait! Quiet, yo. I don't know what school's like for you big city kids, but here is every student's du duty to pitch in. Don't tell me you're not enough of a man to do something this easy. Fine, I'll do it. Whatever. I think if I say, I assume if I say I don't want to do it, maybe I get a, 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 some courage, but I bet I'm not courageous enough to say no anyway. They should be expecting you since I already told them you'd do it. Thank me. Fucking asshole. <coughs> well, see, there we go. Yosuke is fascinated with otters. Kanji was confused about the bears. All sorts of stuff going on. It's a hell of an infirmary. What? Uh, told me you've been sent here to place a sick member. Rolling low on people. We need to check around the school to see if anyone needs help, but someone has to stay and watch this room. Do you mind staying here and dealing with anyone that stops by? No touching the medicine, of course. If someone who's hurt shows up, use the first aid kit. The only other things you'd have to worry about are salesmen and phone calls. They're pretty uncommon, though. Okay. Kai uh, Kitao from San uh, from Santo Pharmaceuticals. Hmm, aren't there any adults here? Could you deliver a message for me then? School place an order for gauze, but I need to know if the order can wait until the month after next. Give my regards to your teacher. Okay. Told her that a representative from the pharmaceutical company came. Oh, we should have Sensei call him back. Do you remember his name? Kitao from Santo. I think it was Santo, not Sando. Yeah. Oh, about the gauze. How would he say? So the month after next. Okay. Contact them immediately. Thank you. you Give him the correct information. Hey, cool. Oh, all right. Sick. Let's discuss what we found while we went around the school. Okay, group one. Oh, that's right. You went alone. Yeah, since Konishi isn't here. Yeah, Konishi-kun. He can't help it after what happened. Hmm. Hey, guys. Oop. Sorry I'm late. No, it's okay. You don't have to come really. Helping out at your parents' store is hard work, right? We have a replacement, so don't worry. I don't want to be the only one. Well, you can help Ricochet clean up this room then. Okay. Well, goodbye. Well, he's got a fairly unique appearance, which makes me feel like a social link's about to start. Who does this guy remind me of? He, no, he reminds me of. He reminds me of. Um, oh God, I've forgotten the the, the character's name, but uh, the French thief from uh, Ocean's Twelve. More so in his in his three D model because he's got a little bit more like curliness to his hair. 
but he reminds me of uh, the night. Was it the Night Fox? I think from Ocean's Twelve. I'm Kanishi, a first year. You knew Saki Kanishi. I'm her brother. Oh boy, that's awkward. I did recognize his surname, and I was like, "Wait, Kanishi was the girl that that died, right?" Well, if you're friends with Hanamura, uh, Hanamura, right? I hate him, and you too. Can I go home now? No, help me clean. I have to help out at home. It's a mess, you understand, right? I'm a fucking softy. And uh, he's probably just using me, but whatever. I think I can give him a little bit of slack here. Hi. All right, but is there anything in the fridge? Okay, let's read. I <sighs> Hi, Kanji. I want to go inside the TV. I want to test my skills. Okay. All right. Anywho, all right, we got one more chapter of this left, and then we'll be all good with this book. Yeah, <laughs> that could have been a text. It could have been anything. It's June already, eh? Well, good news. Tatsumi-kun from the first year is back with us, so try to set good examples. I know it's the rainy season, and you may not be very motivated, but let's keep our spirits up together, okay? Anyway, I really hate this weather since I can't go out and exercise. But watching sports on TV isn't bad either. I saw the Heikendai, he Heikendai, Heikendai competition the other day. They do beautiful moves with a delicate sense of balance, though I can see why men would be afraid to try it. Ha 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 ha. What sport is Haken uh, <laughs> Die? I'm going to go with Balance Beam since he was talking about balance so much. High dive and synchronized dancing seem less balance specific. Uneven bars would definitely have some amount of balance, but like this is one that's all balance. How amazing you knew that. Okay, cool. But you should ask me if you have questions. No, uh, Yuki Chan, uh, Yukiko Chan, not him. I don't see him as Heiken Dai in Japanese. Heiken Dai. He hey, hey, Heiken Dai. Yeah, Heiken Dai. I bet when you kids hear the word beam, you think about laser or something, but it refers to the timber or beam. And balancing on a wooden beam is mighty tricky. Boom, the sport of balance beam is born. Okie doke. Hey means balance or harmony. Uh, okay, dog. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's ice cream. We got what? Uh, uh, 57 flavors, right? Yay, Yukiko appreciates me. Oh, sweet. I was going to say, did that get me expression or knowledge or something? Cool. Hey, guess what I just heard? What do you hear? Sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play. What? <laughs> no, it's called a reach around, Yosuke. That's a totally different thing. What a weird introduction to whatever he's about to tell me. When they're sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play. What? Okay, I'm glad that the correct answer here is, what, huh? A girl, obviously. Okay. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. What I mean is, I'm talking about how when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle, they <sighs> put up against your back. Yosuke. Down, boy. I 
Dude has zero chill. Zero chill. Though granted, I definitively remember being at a band thing back in high school and gave someone a hug and was like, oh, okay. But like, I also didn't go like, oh my god, to anybody either. I mean, I know what the answer is. Well, okay, maybe I don't know what the answer is. Maybe, maybe he's not being as crass directly as I'm thinking. Maybe he's not talking boobs. Maybe he's talking, like, legs. Like, because the way they're sitting, they're probably going to be kind of holding on with, like, the thigh a little bit, too, to get a grounding there. <sighs> Yosuke, why are you doing this to me, buddy? What does? Look, don't make me spell it out. <sighs> kind of feeling like I, I kind of feeling like for your own sake, I need to make you spell it out, man. Anyway. Yeah. I think motorcycles are the hot new thing for guys now. Girls like guys who spend time outdoors, right? I also appreciate the idea of like, hey man. This just in, girls have started being all about dudes on motorcycles. I don't know anything about the last 50 years, but I hear motorcycles really rev their engines. So I got you this. Get what? You <laughs> Yosuke. <laughs> well, I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget. Oh, but at least that'll let us get to new places. Are we actually going to unlock the map by getting like a Vespa? Don't you think we deserve that much seeing as how we're investigating the case? That'll both be awesome and terrible in terms of being able to keep up with stuff. Hi, Gaji. Sup, senpai? Hey, about the camping trip. You guys busy right now? <laughs> we both stopped speaking to look at you. Kind of. We're talking about motorcycles. Yeah, uh, Kanji's not going to love that. Motorcycles? You going to go stomp a gang? I mean... If you're bringing a war, I'll help. No, you can chill, chill, relax. No, we're not bringing a war. What's that mean, anyway? What does it sound like? Getting motorcycle licenses. Licenses? You guys don't have yours? Also, you would have to fucking pay me so much money... To willingly be on a motorcycle. I rode on one when I was a kid for like one block, and that was all I needed for the rest of my life. Huh? No way. Don't tell me you already. I'm not like the world's most risk averse person, but that one is just like, nah, nah, don't need that in my life. Nah, I'm still 15 and all. Then why'd you say it like that? Because <laughs> you're not 15? Man, that reminds me. I'm surprised you picked a fight with that biker gang. How'd you chase after them? Oh, the baseball bat. Check it out. Eh, a bike's all I need for that. In any case, we can't let you huh. in on our up close and personal plan. Bikes, bikes. I'm not too bad with though. I've had a couple, you know, scrapes and dings and things from those. I haven't, I haven't ridden a bike in years. I actually have to get a new one. I might be picking up a job like in the center of town, and I will need a bike to get there without, uh, if I, unless I want to spend a disgusting amount of money on like uh, Ubers and shit. Up close and personal. What does that mean? Yosuke. Down. I love that the girls turn and I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first a motorcycle, and then. A gun made out of vodka. And then... And then... A girlfriend. <gasps> yes, gay. Oh, God. Well, I'm not choosing this one, but Jesus, game. Fucking hell. <sighs> you know what? I'll indulge him. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll make us closer. Tell me more. Yeah, see, there we go. All right, then. You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? Is there a bigger thing than a motorcycle? I contend that nothing's bigger than a motorcycle. I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seating too, man. That's true. 
That ain't allowed on a scooter. Yeah, but when did I pay attention? Was allowed. Skipping school isn't allowed either, Kanji. Oh yeah, he's got the little the little wrist support boob mouse pad. I legit need to get a mouse pad that's got some kind of little like foam bar thing to it. I recently, uh, it's I've been trying to take care of it better, but this right here tends to I tend to wind up like in a this position a lot of the time just from the angle of everything, and like a couple weeks ago I started having like twangs of the of like the tendons that are in the inside of my wrist and I was like ooh nope that really sucks it would like be like a pang and my fingers would be numb and I'm like no that's bad I need to not let that be a thing uh you can still get the dark souls Elden ring basilisk eyes mouse pad oh yeah that one's a funny one uh actually good for comfort and support if you can find one with art that you can see within public yeah that's the other thing too Granted, I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be bringing it anywhere. I'd be leaving it here. So the real trick is, what would the funniest mouse pad for me to get be? That would not have everyone coming here to re to record viewing me as a heathen. Is this the one with yellow eyes? Yes. Yeah, I've seen that one. It's a very funny mouse pad. Shut up. This will work out. As long as we have a motorcycle, the girls will come running. That's all the advantage we'll need. Oh. Listen carefully. Yosuke, you're not saying anything. You're just kind of mumbling. Oh, I thought I thought we were gonna fade out or something. I wasn't really, wasn't really ready. The reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. Yeah, but we go to school with lots of girls. This place is so tiny. It's no wonder we can't find one. Doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Um. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up close and personal plan really starts. Yosuke. Up close and personal. Plus, you know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. Uh, I would say that, I mean, Kanji, you know, not really entirely sure, like, how broad his spectrum is here, but he's also got a bit of a city uh, city boy thing going on. Different style, but the, the his, like, vibe and attire is not what I would consider a, com a country bumpkin or anything. If we're serious about this, we've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. we got to take the initiative. All right. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so often each day. We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are, and when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. People, the the problem is that people know who Yosuke is here. The pheromones dripping off of us will bring them around in no time. If you're dripping with pheromones, you need to see a doctor, Yosuke, please. That's what that's what WAP really stands for: wet ass pheromones. See a doctor; it's not healthy. What fe feral zone? It's the weirdest. It's the weirdest Sonic the Hedgehog level. Don't go there. No, we're not going to a cat house, you idiot. We're talking about pheromones. Yeah, Cleopatra. She was an expert on pheromones. My research shows yeah. that a motorcycle is. My wife says sure that that is really unhealthy. And nobody should ever have it happen. What is your research, Yosuke? Do I want to? Don't tell me. Actually, don't even tell me. Pheromones. What? What is this conversation? Dude, that's how a perv would react. Yosuke. What did you say? Fine, and I'm in too. Get ready for Kanji Tatsumi to show his manhood to these No, 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 no. Sorry, he didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. He didn't. He, he, ha, ha, ha. He's joking. He's talking about a jacket. <clears throat> I already told you, you can't. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this. Got it? If other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. Yosuke's about three seconds away from getting into some, like, Right wing YouTube videos on like low T beta cuck, whatever the fuck. 
They're like, no, man, we gotta get our, we gotta, we gotta, uh, we gotta swallow some, some, uh, some ferro powder. I bought it off this very sweaty red guy online. So, partner, make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? Oh, he will detect the shit out of. Not that move. Don't do that move. Not you. <laughs> know your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Miracle. I'm serious about this. <laughs> the water's making our, the frogs less pheromoned. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be fun. So that with a motorcycle, your range of activities will increase somewhat. I guess we're getting motorcycles. What the fuck? Days of our youth are ahead of us. Wasn't there a motorcycle next to the house too? Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Should you try consulting Doj uh, Dojima about the motorcycle tonight? I mean, I guess. Oh, boy. All right, you. Did you hear? There's a ghost at the shrine. If you go at night, a woman's ghost will approach, and she threatens you unless you give her fish. Okay. Is there a cat that does it, actually? Oh, okay. Listen. If you brought me that angel before, this time you can bring me a crucifix. I'd like to keep it next to the angel. Okay. Silver ones are pretty common, so something like a crooked cross would be nice. Okay. Hmm. I do not remember who I got the first... Who I got the angel statue from, but... Crooked cross. Actually, weren't there... Um, the couple on the antenna kind of have a crucified vibe to them. Maybe they have the crooked cross. Alright. Over there. I mean, preferably without someone nailed to it, yeah. <laughs> Last thing you want is someone to look at that and be like, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I was a Catholic as a kid. I'm allowed to make that joke. Uh, also a joke. You do not need to be a Catholic to make that joke. Clearly. Leave school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I assume that it's that it's a dungeon item of some kind. Um, all right. Well, we're ending up. Uh, going into the TVs, but I want to look around a little bit first. It is raining, so I should be able to get some super croquettes. That'll be nice. And then down here, no. Going to town. Specifically across with the figure of Jesus nailed to it, otherwise it's just a cross. I guess that's true, right? A crucifix is a... is a... um... is a, a depiction of the cruci a crucifixion. So I guess it probably would have... It would be, a, a, you know, the old JC. Y'all know me. Still the same JC. But have been low-key. Uh, I hear it's a sequel to the Man series. Wait, what did this guy have for a quest? Bring him a peach seed. Okay. No idea where I'm going to get that. Uh, have I been here since the last time? Uh, your heart for art tends to dull. Maybe it's because I don't see many rare materials. Okay, I did sell all my stuff pretty recently then. All right. Do, 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 do. Person who grew up Catholic in Rhode Island, I have known a few people who thought INRI on the cross meant made in Rhode Island. Oh, no. Oh, geez. Yeah, not so much. I'm trying to remember what it actually is in reference to. I think it's... It's essentially a mockery, isn't it? The idea is that it was is a mockery of the idea uh, of like, uh, here he is. It's it's basically King of the Jews or something, isn't it? Try, it's been a long ass time. 
I'm uh, like I should know it better. The uh, the crucifixion is something that you don't exactly skip uh, skim over going to going to Catholic school. Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Oh yeah, because the eyes would be J's, J N R for like Regnus or, or something or Regis or something along those lines. Jesus Nazareth. Regis Judeus or something. Uh, hey, is that kid want some soda? I guess I can just do this. I don't actually have to really run around. No kid here, but soda. Uh, leave the shopping districts. Let's go to the department store. Doji Michons, you have to hear me out. Cabbage, there's no... My cabbages! What am I going to do? My grandfather refused to eat anything that wasn't grown in Inaba. I can help you out. Three cabbages. All right, so I'll get some cabbage seeds. Look, lady. I'm from Lowell, but I, I'm that's just not my thing. You can't... That's, that's our wheat. You can't have that. That's our wheat. It's not for you. Stem is so strong, yet supple, that there's legends of bandits using this stuff to open locks. Hiranya cabbage. Well, we're definitely getting that then. My father unlocks to juice these things uh, in a blender and drink them straight up. Me? Well, I'm, you know. I, what? Definitely cabbage. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I'll buy I'll buy everything that's that's there. Um, to explain that to explain that uh, that stupid joke. So I hail from Lowell, Massachusetts, where uh, uh, for a very long time, the only movie that had ever been produced and shot in Lowell was a movie called Crack Street, <laughs> which was all about the crack cocaine epidemic back in like I don't know mid 80s maybe maybe early 80s uh, and uh, uh, it was it was a documentary style thing uh, featured in that movie uh, was uh, uh, I forget which of the two it was I think it was Dickie Eklund uh, who was a boxer from Lowell uh, who was brothers with, because he was at the time horrifically addicted to crack. Uh, his brother, the much more popular and famous boxer also from Lowell, Mickey Ward, uh, Mickey Ward eventually had a biopic maybe a decade ago called, uh, uh, the fighter starring Christian Bale. And Oh boy. I forget who played Dicky. Uh, 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 I forget who played Mickey Ward. I believe Christian Bale played Dicky Eklund. Uh, and weirdly enough, it also I think Amy Adams played like his his love interest in there. Uh, I played a game when I went to when I watched the movie for the first time. I'm like, all right. I lived in Lowell till I was uh, 17 years old. Uh, actually, that's not even true. I moved from one side of Lowell to the other side of Lowell. So I lived in Lowell until basically I went to college. Uh, at which point I mostly lived in my college town. And I played a game and I was like, all right, how long can I go into this movie? Because it was shot and produced in Lowell. And I was like, how long into this movie can I go before I recognize a location? Uh, and the movie fades in. And it's, I think, Dickie Eklund. And he's like sweeping like tar or something on some street. And I look and I'm like, I, I know that intersection. God damn it. I know where that is downtown. Fuck. Uh, interestingly enough... The movie is done as a biopic and uh, featured in this movie that is mostly about Dickie Eklund. In the timeline of this movie, they show the movie Crack Street because that's part of that. So the only two movies that have ever been shot and produced in Lowell are a movie are, are a movie about crack that features Dickie Eklund and a movie about Dickie Eklund that features the movie about crack featuring Dickie Eklund. So that's Lowell for you. Uh, 
on the more positive side of things, Lowell brought us uh, um, Michael Chiklis, Jack Kerouac, CVS Pharmacy. Uh, phone numbers apparently were first a thing in Lowell. And uh, Moxie. Moxie Soda. I forget which because I got into an argument with Lindsay about this because it was made. So the location it was made and the location the person was from. One of them is Lowell. One of them is Maine. I think he's from Maine and he invented it in Lowell. But she wants to claim Moxie Soda. Nobody should want to claim Moxie Soda. It's repulsive. But I have, I, I have had. I haven't had it lately. I had grown a fondness for it in high school on a dare. Disney's Frozen. Ah, you're from you're from Norway. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, my parents are both from, and I spent a good amount of time. The, the town where a film purports to take place, and that film is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Nice. That's always good. You love to see it. Oh, God. The writer, co-director is from here. Ah, nice, nice, nice. I feel bad that I don't remember who... The actual uh, director of that movie is. I feel like I know at least a few of the direct. I guess you know. No, that now they think about it, it's basically just Brad Bird. And even that's Pixar more than Disney. Huh. I don't know if I know any of the. Was John Lasseter a a director? Shit, I don't know. Jennifer Lee, she's now CCO of uh, WDAS. Oh no, shit. Okay cool i mean she obviously knows what she's doing right it's end of the tv so now comes the hard part where i have to start splitting up my team that's never a good time because you have to start making calls how can i help out this is a powerful shadow at the steamy area where you found kanji i'm not ready for that yet i think this world is getting more and more unstable I just want to live here in peace. Sensei, could you defeat the shadow at the steamy place? Uh, sure, eventually. Not yet. Alright. Um, is he on my list yet? He is. Oh, he's got Taki Mikazushi. Alright. Oh, that's right, yeah. Right, forgot about this. That's fucking awesome. What a ridiculous ass persona uh weak to wind strong to thunder all right so we now have a, an electric person so i don't have to focus as much on electric if i've got him on this on the team that's good uh and he is entering at basically the same level as the rest of us so it's not like i have to desperately catch him up either so that's that's good uh he's maybe a little bit less good oh no that's compared with mine yeah he's he's reasonably close to everybody else, he's maybe a little bit weaker, but not by much. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Well, let's... I guess we kind of have to go to the steamy place, right? We don't have any, like... We could hypothetically go back to the castle, but I think... Steamy place just makes more sense. Um, yeah, just make him eat a bunch of rare candies. Like, what, what the hell is this? Let's go to the bathhouse. You serious? Well, if we gotta, we gotta. Bum, bum, ba -da, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I'm taking Yukiko every time just because of the healing. Um, yeah, there's just a couple of us to start out with. All right, let's get fired up. All right, so... Add to party. Oh, does the party... Is the party now... I think I'm going to... So I'm definitely taking Yukiko. Oh, it's on the bottom right. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to take Chie for now. Because she has some good battle buffs that might be useful if we run into some rare stuff. Um, friends got all matted. Oh, buddy. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. And I assume people who don't go don't get levels, right? I forget what floor we fought Kanji on before. Use 
You don't see me. You don't see me. Oh boy, it's a big one. Dice. Two enemies. You can attack with Weak to electricity. All right, sweet. Uh, yeah, that's just Mazio. Yeah. Kind of figured as much, but... So I got to make sure to keep mixing it up from time to time. Because I don't want anyone to fall too far behind. Souffle time. I should see if I have better equipment for him in my stuff, too. Uh... There's a chance this might turn into something good. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't touch that one. Uh, you know what? I don't have any chess keys I have right now, so let's just grab that. Right. <laughs> Fucking rave house is more like it. Everybody ready for the bath rave? This is a big floor. He didn't see me. He's about to see me. Yeah, turn that way, please. No, turn the other way. There we go. What are these guys? You get to go first. Wind is the I guess we have fought them. All right, wind. Uh, well, this is not going to be as easy without... Uh... Hmm. I guess we just don't have wind. Nope, no wind. Uh, they're strong to physical. Sure. Oh, I shouldn't be wasting it like that. Oh, man, these guys are down quick. Fine. Huzzah! All right. I am thou. Boing, boing. Sure, full term. You know what? I'll take it. That's fine. That'll get us onto our sweep. Kyushi. All right. Magic mirror. Magic mirror on the wall. Who's the prettiest in this bathhouse hall? I mean, I'm not in a rush to ascend now. Because I actually am here specifically to get levels. So. <coughs> Excuse me. So I may as well take my time. Oh, I should have gone to the other side before I turned around. That's all right. God, we're going to go all the way to the other side. It's going to be locked, right? Whoop. Oh, you bitch. All right. Ain't... Okay. Oh, that's cool. Sure. Do it. Boing. Works for me. It's probably Kanji. Kanji, he's got beautiful eyebr uh, eyelashes. Oh, that didn't kill? Boo boo da boo da boo 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 da boo. All right, well, Lilum and them's. Tough, hide. Oh, yes. Right, they couldn't see me. A rare monster All right. with a stuffing 
out of it. Yeah. Here we go. Land something good. Alright. Oh yeah, Rampage is sick. Oh P butts. I mean, I have to assume that they're going to be immune to uh, to death spells, so. <sighs> oh, shit. I got to change his, uh, his dynamics. Cool. Cool. Uh, tactics. Recommends. There we go. All right. Boo, 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 doo, doo. Hey, there we go. All right. God damn it. Working on it. He's got almost the same set of stuff that I do right now, actually. That's actually pretty funny. Uh, yeah. I think the only difference is he's got Rakukaja, and I don't. No! Oof. There we go. One of these. Yay! <laughs> Wrong one! Shit. Fuck. Alright, well, you know what? If they're attacking, they're not running, so that's fine. Gotta heal soon, though. Right. Oh, we're so close on that one. Uh, now we gotta heal. Let's be responsible with this. Come on, you got it. I love that he uses a fucking chair. Alright, we still got one. Alright. Oberon! Boo, boo, boo. It's amazing. Oberion! And Oberion! Magatsu Zandrite. Alright. Yeah, Levoos! Yeah! Get them stats! Yes, you did! Rekarm. That is gonna be a pretty goddamn important one. Uh, let's get rid of Agi. Everything else has a purpose. Agi no longer really does because we have Agi Lao. Sick! Oh yeah, uh, status, or rather, equip. Do I have anything good for Kanji here? He's weak to wind. Folding chair. An uncomfortable chair used in many schools. Armor, skull t-shirt. A t-shirt with a skull in the front. No one knows where it was sold. Uh, the others would bring evasion down, but defense up. Evasion 12 is actually pretty good. Accessories, silver locket. Lock it attached to a withered chain. Uh, could increase electric damage or really reduce wind damage would be nice. Wind pin. Ooh, wind suppressor. 
Yeah, let's do wind suppressor. Clothes. Gag winter outfit. Oh, with the with the glasses on. No, we don't need everybody wearing that. There we go. All right, revival bead. Ooh, just a dead end. Don't think we've seen one that's... Uh-oh. Thought I heard that. So, we get warned before we wind up opening a chest with that guy in it, right? That's that's the that's the the gist of what's going on here. Right. Player advantage. Two enemy shadows. You get to go first. Uh, Mazio. Right. Mabufu. Yep. Bing bing. Hey, did I ever go back and kill the Contrarian King? I don't know if I ever actually went back to do that. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should go and do that. Hello, Dave. Hello, hello. Uh, we'll take a risk here. Sweet. Two chest keys. Fuck yeah. Or maybe it only counted as one? I don't know. New phone. Sick. Always good. What'd you get? Do, 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 do. Oh, still got those chains. Pixel three to an eight. Nice. I'm kind of keeping an eye out for the uh, the iPhone, was it, uh, the next S model uh, to happen because I, I just like the low-profile phones, the huge phablets or whatever. I'm not into those. Let's let this guy roll around for a minute here. Did that count? Yes, it did. All right. These guys are in fire, right? Nice. I keep critting these guys. Oh my god. Fuck the police. Still alive. Come on now. It's actually our cheapest option now. The pixels aren't huge. All right, sick. But yeah, I've do I've been doing the uh, the iPhones for a while now. Uh, fine, give me that. Mazio as a card is pretty great if I can get that into. Uh, if I can get that into the the um, the thing, eh. sorry, Valkyrie. Yeah. Who am I currently using as my? All right, it is High Pixie. Okay, it doesn't even include it in the list of of options. Got it. Okay. Didn't notice the chain stopped. I smell three All this right. Weak to you. light. Meh. Let's do this. Three enemies. Let's get A boofu. Right. That was stupid. Uh, nope, Maragi. Hey, there we go. Nicely down. 
Fine. <sighs> Fonius! It's Fonius! It's Fonius! Didn't get a good look at that because I hit X too fast. Soul drop. Alright. Now we can go. Whoops. Ooh. It tripped. Okay. So always the trick is trying to figure out what the next stream ought to be. Pong. All right, got some good damage down there. Uh, that's not good. That's very not good. Come on, Jake. Ugh. God dang. You can do it. Get a crit, get a crit, get a crit, 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 crit. Okay, it hasn't left yet. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, okay. Uh, we can make Patra? Yeah. Are you though? Are you thou? Alright. Oh. Okay, it's still here. I'm actually gonna focus on this one because I think Chie's attack will likely kill that. And if it's not, then Kanji can can do it. Mm. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, I gotta heal people. Everyone's doing a little rough right now. Come on, get it in there. Finish it up. No! Okay, it's still here though. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> the enemy ran away. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Mm. All confused. I am Just one enemy left. Come on. Come on now. Thank you. Ugh. <sighs> All right. Uh, if I need other personas right now, so just do this and cycle it. Elagor. Right. Elagor. Uh, goodbye, Nata Taishi. Yes. A lot of, lot of spoils there, but not a level. That's kind of surprising. Oh, yeah, I should do this. There we go. Ah. What are the Rainy Brother 4? Okay. Let's try this. Okay. Okay, well, that answers that. Oh boy, lots of cards. Uh, and no chance to keep the sweep going. That's awesome. Um, this...
You know what? Let's do this and Archangel. <sighs> Ghoul. Goodbye. Fluorite and fourth boy's talc. Uh, cool. What? Talc is the uh, is the metal you get if you place in fourth. You get a talc metal. I smell two enemies. Beat them up. Uh, I'm just gonna guard. Ding ding. Uh, we didn't get a thing for that? Come on now. What? You know, how's it going? Encourage him. Talk. What? Cough drop. Couldn't find that uh, stuff in your room after all. So looking for my porn. Hey, Peach Seed. Uh, no, not right now. Huh, all right. Oh, and a free chest. Snuff soul, all right. Boo, boo, do, boo, do, boo, boo, do. Well, I do have a Steam key for that game that I was telling you about a while back. I think it was uh, uh, Lunark, if you're interested in checking that out sometime, Dave. Whoops, I walked right past the door I wanted. Okay. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, more of these guys. It's the first non-crit on these guys so far. Uh, it's a K, not a CH. God damn it. <sighs> oh, and that isn't even enough anyway. What was I thinking? Ack. Grab that. Hey, attacking me, Kazushi. Two on there, not bad. So there's more enemies. That's not what I was trying to do, but I'll do it. Chewing soul, cool. That didn't count as an advantage, really. There are three enemies bull dinky there. game. Big bull dinky. I don't want to suck ya? The, what the fuck? What did you just say? Ooh, luck. Taking luck anytime I can. Konohana Sakuria. Okay. You could you could see why that would sound a little bit a little bit 
tricksy to get my ears around. Oh, nice shadow! Oh, Sakia. Uh. Was there a fire? Oh, ice. Guard. Oh no, I know it's the name of her persona, but it definitely, like, it just kind of, she hasn't said it lately, so it just wasn't as, as fresh in my brain. Well, Jesus, uh... If I do this, I could hit one of the two there. And then I would have enough to get the rest without taking half money and half XP. Of course not. <sighs> Fine. All that to get the stats up. Why are we getting all this fourth boy's talc? Uh, up we go. Up we go. Whoop. Kabang. Big O's. Weak to light, huh? Well, he's resistant to anything. Only to physical. Right. Bam, bam, bam. Is it now? There we go. Shoe time. Uh, this actually works out pretty great. Oh, actually, let's do this and then this. I don't want ghoul anyway. Proof of spirit. Proof of spirit. Yes, we do. Proof of spirit. How about you? Oh, this was one of the battle spots. That makes sense. Babies. Monopolizing Cupid, weak to ice. You got a girl. Yay! Beat them all up now. We can do this. Alright, just want to check on. Uh, this is the hard drive space, but we're good. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're running out of sweep again. It's fine. All right. Cloth wings. Just keeps going. Oh, fuck it. Babies. Four enemies. They weren't expecting us. Babies. Ding, 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 ding. Four enemies down. Everybody down. Let's rock and roll. Let's 
That's what you get from your weirdo babies. Uh, I don't really want a persona right now. I'm just going to take the money. Boo -de -boo -de -de -boo. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This one's a little sprawling, so honestly, as soon as I find the stairs, there we go. I'm just going to get out of here. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Now we have the bathhouse key, so now a bunch of stuff that's disconnected can be connected. All right. That looks like a red one. Okay. Tranquil Idol. Mm. Just beat it up the old-fashioned way. Try it. Hey. There we go. Weak to darkness. Kabam. Nicely done, Yukiko. Ipon Datara. I don't know if I've had that one yet. I'm not going to get it done this time again, though. What was I thinking? Fuck. Of course. Oh, Mokoi. Uh, I've seen Archangel a bunch of times. I'll get rid of that one. Hey, Crooked Cross. We got it. Got a nice. Excellent. So we got the Peach Seed and the Crooked car uh, Cross. We got both of those taken care of now. Soul Drop. Nice. Oh, Jesus. Well, all right. What are these fucking things? Cloud Girl Pot. Oh, okay. Well, that's convenient. You do? All right. Uh... Okay. Fine, you know what? It'll get another sweep going, and we get agility up, so I'm happy with that. And a chess key, which is always good. Curious line! Bow, down, down, down. Is it, it isn't always on time! Whoa, no, no, no. Another chest. When shadows are in it, it's not the best. Oh, I take it back. Oh, that's mean, though. All right, what's your deal again? Weak to electricity. So let's start with that. Oof. Yes. Hit the glove. Hit the glove. Hit the glove. <gasps> yeah, girl. Fuck yes. Holy shit, that was good. You came in at a great time, Arrow. Holy fuck. Chie just booted the shit out of that glove. Oh my god, that was great. Uh, Yeah, one, two, and a Persona. Sure, I'm not even going to keep it. Goddamn, that was great. Dude wants you to feed a cat. Oh, you're right. Wait, so then who's the... Oh, it was because it was grayed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was a cat down by the river. I probably need a fish on hand, though. Uh, Archangel, you can actually hang out, buddy. Oh, look at that experience. Look at that money. You fucking love to see it. Yeah, you did. You earned it. Yes. Did you use that attack on bosses? Oh, my God. 
So, like, you just land a crit and you might just end the whole battle right there. That's fucking nuts. Do, 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 do. There you go. Rocky, but Jesus Christ, man. Okay. Oh, but I don't have anything with wind unless I have, like, a wind thing that hits everybody, but I don't think I do. The one enemy. <sighs> well, let's just do some crowd crowd tactics and we'll hope for the best here. All right. Mabufu. Hello, hello. It goes great. Uh, Chie just one hit killed a, uh, a golden glove. So that was pretty rad. Got us some level and things from that. It was always a good time. Uh, let's do this, this, and this, and hope we don't get a bad one. Sweet. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Look at them chest keys. Damn it. I was... Ten minutes ago, I looked at the time and said, Oh, 11.52. In eight minutes, it'll be mid midnight, and I should try to... Nope. Oh, can I not look at it while I'm in here? No, 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 no. I was joking. I was kidding. I was kidding. I did not want to do that. Can I undo that? I was going to look at the TV thing. Didn't know you couldn't do that in here. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to, to come in and do whatever that does. I'm still a little unclear on it. I was mostly trying to look at the TV thing. Because I was curious if it did anything weird at midnight. Oh, as a hammer mouth. Ah. There are three enemies. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, I was going to check the like TV listing, like that whole thing there. Um... Uh, oh my god, where's my brain at? Let's just do... Oh yeah, because that guy's strong against physical anyway. Um, yeah, I just wanted to check the little TV listing things. I was curious. Because the numbers look a little weird when they display zero. So I was like, I wonder. Those aren't your glasses. It The one that's weak to it, it missed. Fine. God damn. You're like a stabs or health heal. Oh, no shit. All right. Ah, oh, God damn, we're going to lose the thing again? Let's do these. All right, luck goes up. Temperance for the chest key. And we got a Garu. Nice. That's actually a pretty good one, considering we don't have Garu in our main set of four at the moment. It's an emergency. Sure. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. It just kind of like popped up there, so fuck it. We'll interact. Ooh. There we go. Ooh, two of them. <laughs> Thank you. Dr. Yana. Ooh, everyone gets some, a little bit of heals. That's cute. It's good. I'm about to sacrifice a bunch of HP, so perfect. <laughs> mm. Let's see how we do. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, still here. Okay, good. Alrighty. Working on it. Pong. Always tends to miss when it's low health. I don't know why. Ooh, that's pretty bad. 
That's very bad. I don't have a whole lot I can do about that. Uh, I I want her to use Rampage. I can let uh, I can let Kanji try doing uh, an item if we got one. God damn! Stop hitting Kanji! All right. Hiranya seems a little excessive right now. Oh, it's also only for one ally, so we'd have to burn both of them. No, thank you. Come on. Oh. Snap her out of it. Fuck. Yeah, it's definitely got like a California vacay kind of vibes. Let's just do a regular attack for now. Oh, yes! Oh, it's not going to matter, though, because I'm fucking... Oh, damn it. I'll just keep ganging up on it, then. Oh, thank God. Keep beating it up. Here we go. Okay. I assume that if it's down, it's it's harder for it to dodge stuff, but maybe not. Sweet. We got both of them. Very, very good. Oh, sick. Uh, oh, no. Well, experience up is definitely the best one of these between the two. Like, money is great and all, and I really wish I could grab two, and, like, hypothetically, if I got this and it turned this into... It would have to turn into something bad, so... Let's take the experience and run. Experience from... Jeez, look at that! Fuck! Amazing, sensei. Yes. Yes! We got a thing coming. Enables escape from most battles. Ooh... Having that as a spell instead of as an item might be kind of nice. Mm, but also, everything else I have is just kind of better. Growth, Invigorate, and the dodges are really good. I swear there's a hair that's in the back of my fucking throat right now. I mean, nuts. Uh, no. No. I'm gonna leave Trafuri behind. Oh, and that's it. She's maxed out. Alright. I should switch to another Persona to start building them up, too. Hey, everybody's getting levels. Actually, no, not yet. Persona! Ooh, anything with an auto on it, I pretty much want to be, uh... That's right, the growth means that they're leveling up when I'm not doing anything. Uh, let's do... Oh, that is pretty fucking good. It wouldn't hurt to hurry that one along. And then I can switch to King Frost or something. Yeah, I think I am going to do that. I cut open the treasure chest. Cool beads. Cool beads. Cool beads, man. Cool beads. Hey, cool beads. Increase luck by two. Cool beads. Reduce the chance of rage. Okay, I like cool down beads. All right. I feel like if you make someone wear beads, they might not be, like, chill, per se. Alright. Oh, I gotta do some healing. 
That'll do. Yeah, right now I'm just doing some some base grinding. I'm gonna get up to I don't know, a little higher, possibly the the floor that the new boss is at, and then I actually wanted to Spark Vow. <coughs> and then I wanted to go take on the Contrarian King back in the first dungeon. I smell five enemies! You can take them! Win. Weak to wind, right. I don't have any wind. I don't currently have any hmm. Well, critical three. Sure, go for it. But yeah, I only really went because uh, because uh, Kanji was like, "Hey, we should go in," and I want to train. And I'm like, "Yeah, why not, buddy?" I guess I didn't have to do punchies there, but that's okay. Nice. I kind of hope he has like a skateboard weapon later on. It kind of I'm, I'm getting those vibes right now. Ha ha ha! You missed, and now we get to gang up on you, stupid graveler. Masquerade graveler, more like flat on your askerade gla graveler. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, the XP up. Not a lot of uh, experience, but why the hell not? I may also try the, the new boss here, too, since I now know that there's no penalty for losing that one. By the time the next dungeon arrives, one. Exactly, yeah. I don't even think... I'm pretty sure in Persona 3, I, did, I never grinded, and I just always wound up being able to take down the whole chunk of Tartarus on my first available opportunity. Weak to electricity... Haven't tried light. Are these guys strong against anything? Don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't have any good group things now. Mabufi! Alright. Okay. Mazio! God damn, I keep missing. Let's do it again. There we go. You did it. Uh, strength up, please. Karma lamp, life collar. All right. Shows they're just like actual lions. The kids just rubbing cheek on the ball. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're just hanging out. They don't know any better. We're electrocuting them to death like we're Thomas Edison. There we go. All right, let's beat this butcher up. With a chance of exhaustion. I hope that means to the enemy. Okay. I guess this actually would do the most hits here. Alright. Mm. Oop, still here. Iron dice, alright. Okay, that's alright. We can do a Mazio on, uh, on Kanji's turn. Also, this. Ooh, that last one was good there. Actually, you know what? Let's do Moragi, because if I can take that down now, then he can do his three hit attack on the hand. Alright. Oh, it's still. Alright, still summoning. I mean, that's better than the alternative. There we go. I sure never grind. I feel like I included a list of floors updating. There were a lot of redoing lower floors for levels. I don't I don't recall. I guess there were like one or two times now that it like because I've looked at them recently for breaking it up for unpause. And actually there were there were like one or two spots where there was I'm trying to remember if that was during the main game or if that was during 
Actually, maybe you know what? I I might be misremembering. I think I did manage to beat everything on my first trip in, but I think I essentially on nights where there wasn't anything else to do, I went into Tartarus. I think that was how that how that wound up going. I don't remember for sure. It has been a couple years now. God damn, really? Yeah, okay, yeah. Come on, kill this fucker. Thank you. Pure iron lump. Make it sound more glamorous. Please. Uh, yeah, let's do this. All right. Where are you taking me today, Winding Roads? We're also starting to run low on SP for the ladies. All right. This is an electric one. Here we go. We're watching. Ooh, jeez. I am super sorry to hear that. That sounds like it extremely sucks. Hopefully you're doing better with that. I've had ketosis. Woof. That does not sound like a good time at all. Well, when uh, the, the loose plan right now to, like, moderately spoil some some plans going forward is uh, for D-pad unpaused I'm more or less breaking that down into discrete moon phases uh, there's only there's one time where I have to include like an extra couple days from one because the, the following video would be like 13 and a half hours long or something uh, oh no it, was, it would be less than 13 but I needed to cut out like 40 or so minutes so the, the set before it, which would otherwise be a pretty short one, uh, instead has, like, the beginning of the next phase. Well, let's try Mudo. Nice. I'm glad you're doing better. That is good to hear. There's always It always sucks when stuff like that comes up and, like, I don't know. Hospital is definitely not a great time. I had uh, I had a an asthma attack when I was... About nine. It is the. Ooh. I have a cable for this. I can find where there it is. Um, I've only been to the hospital twice. Once was for an asthma attack when I was about nine. That was a fun time. I passed out on the way there, which was nice and scary. Um, I love the sound effects. The other time was when I was about mm, 13. Uh, I, I've told this story before for sure. I was making a uh, diorama for school. Uh, we had just read Great Expectations. And we needed to make a, a like shoebox diorama of some scene from, from, the, uh, from the book. Although I think we'd also watched parts of the movie too. Uh, and I decided to do the kitchen with, uh, uh like, Miss Havisham's kitchen with the, uh, uh, with the fucked up cake and all that stuff. I'm worried that if I use Mudo on this, he's going to reflect it at me. But that seems a little needlessly cruel for this stage of the game, so I'm going to go for it. I guess I should have Yuki do that if I'm afraid that that's going to happen. Okay, so light is, in fact... Is in fact the uh, the call there. Got it. Oh, whoops! That was a mistake. Uh, but yeah, I I was making popsicle stick arms for my for my people, and I decided to cut them like this towards my my hand, and on the very last finger, the last popsicle stick broke. I don't think it's going to show up very well on here because it's getting blown up by the light. Let me see if I can, you can just barely see the mark is still there. It's that light little arc in between my two knuckles there. But three stitches, 
it bled like crazy. Uh, I called upstairs to be like, hey, we got to go to the hospital. And my sister, my younger sister came to the top of the stairs first and was like, what's going on? And I and I was like, you don't want to know. It's like, no, what's going on? And I said, I'm bleeding. And she just screams and runs away. <laughs> uh, which is like, yeah, it's exactly what I didn't want to tell you. But yeah, the uh, they put a numbing agent on it, but it wasn't... It was a numbing agent that was not uh, injected because they were like, look, the injury is to your f the your, your finger, and it's kind of hard to get it an, an injection of a numbing agent into your finger. So what we so what we can do is and they literally poured like a little the little plastic mini cups that you squeeze ketchup into at like a McDonald's. Uh, they filled that with a numbing agent and dipped my finger with an open wound directly into it. Uh, and they went to go put the first stitch in and I felt it big time. He was like, you're not going to feel anything. First one very much felt it. I definitely yelled. The second one they go to do it and I'm like bracing myself for it and it went in like butter. Didn't feel it at all. And I was like, oh, cool. And I calmed down and then the third one goes in and I felt it again. I was like, God damn it. Ah. Oh, God. Uh, but yeah, not, not my favorite time in the world. I'm paused of uh, Mega Let's Play. Nice. ZX, halfway through, uh, currently halfway through the first video command mission. Yeah, I actually I, I had command mission growing up. I mean, I had ZX also, but command mission was one that I was always kind of impressed by. It was like, man, I really wish that we had more, like, uh, uh, like unusual format side games in Mega Man. Like, Mega Man really did not get much into weird side games almost at any point, at least on, re on like, main consoles and handhelds. Uh, they had, like, phone games and shit, but, like, it was not really, you know, the NES didn't have a whole lot of that, you know? More summons. Jesus Christ. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I also got a terrible grade on my project, even though I explained, I was like, I couldn't finish it because I was in the hospital because I had cut open my finger, goddammit. She was a nun. She didn't appreciate that part. You know how it is. Uh, let's do this. Alright. Yes, please. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, girl. Fuck yes. Oh, I love it. Tipped my finger off when I was really young. Oh, no. Oof. My dad uh, did the same. I forget which finger it was. It was, I think it was his index finger on one of his hands where he lost, like, the top of it from something. He also has, like, his, his, uh, uh, no, I can't. Oh, the real problem is, you know what? If it changes to something I don't want, then I can just not take it. Take that, though. Nice. Yeah, I've never broken a bone. The only stitches I've ever had were the three that went into this finger. Actually, if I do it like this, it might be easier. No, the lights are still blowing it out. Uh, yeah, the asthma attack. I mean, I probably had... I think I had... I might have had stitches there because they were sewing a foam block to my arm so that they could keep a tube in without risking me like trying to pull it out or something. Not that I was planning on it, but uh I guess I'll get rid of Kill Rush? Yeah, I'll get rid of Kill Rush. Oh, I didn't realize Gale Slash was all foes. Whoops. It's only one hit, but even still. Um yeah. Ooh, Chicago. Dodge physical. Oh, baby. Let's get that shit in there. Ooh, Gale Slash. Speaking of... Uh, I might get rid of... I'm going to get rid of Skullcracker. Actually, no. Isn't Panic... 
what might make like I'll I'll, mm, I'll get rid of assault dry, uh, assault dive. Chance of panic is kind of nice. Bruiser tailbone. Oh no! Chilling one room. School gets out on my staircase. Suddenly, student pushes me down. Oh god! Jesus Christ! I uh, I lost a tooth once. Uh, back in God, I don't know, like third grade, somewhere around then. Uh, because so we used to, I used to ride the bus with essentially the the class bully and his little toady, uh, uh, Johnny and and his little henchman um, Brian, I think. I I remember I remember the the name of the bully, the the other one not so much, but uh, and so we would usually. Like, we all rode the bus together, so we would race to get off the bus, run down the little, like, parking, like, the, the inlet street thing, so that we could race down a flight of stairs, and then get to the locker, like, we had, like, locker cubby zone, and you wanted to get there first because there was a pool table and an Atari plugged in. Because this was, like, uh, 1995, and that was all that, w that uh, anybody was allowed to have there. Rainy's sister. Okay. Uh, but anyway. Interesting. Uh, one day, we we are racing down there and I had a great lead. For whatever reason, uh, there it was uh, uh, I got out first. I had a huge lead and I was like, sweet, I'm ready to go. And I get to the stairs and I run down the flight of stairs and then all of a sudden I'm just waking up on the floor and there's blood in my mouth. And I'm like, what happened? And so it it turned out. So Brian liked to, to to increase his speed to drop his encumbrance. He would occasionally drop his backpack down down the stairs. Like down in the like center bit of the of the thing. Uh, in order to make it a little faster for him and he swears it wasn't on purpose including afterwards when he apologized to me when nobody was looking so like I'm inclined to believe him but uh, he fucked up his throw because he was trying to catch up so he did it in a bit of a rush and he basically nailed me in the back of the head while I was halfway down the second half of the flight of stairs like stairs landing and then down another flight of uh, half a flight of stairs so it basically Knocked me in the head and I went flying forward and landed on the floor face first. Uh, the end result was losing a tooth uh, and my mouth full of blood. And this being a Catholic school, it basically got me to stop bleeding and then sent me to class. Uh, so I came home with a tooth. Oh, no, I didn't come home with a tooth. They couldn't find my tooth. Uh, I, I came home. Oh, I can't even get all of them anyway. Uh, I'll grab Anzu. I came home missing a tooth, and I was so proud to show mom that I missed it, that I was lo that I lost a tooth. It's like, wait, what happened? And I explained it, and she was like, "We're going there. We're going back to school right now." I'm like, uh, what? She absolutely lost her shit on the principal and the teacher. That like just kind of were like, oh, whatever. Which, like, at the time, I was, I was like, seven, eight. I didn't understand what was going on. Now I'm like, oh, yeah, that was pretty fucked up, huh? Uh, oh, whoops. Fuck this one up. Hmm. Well, let's do what we can here. All right. Go and pass us and welcome surrounded by people. Oof. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it didn't seem to mess up my jaw at all, which would be like my main concern at that point. But yeah, it was not. It was not a great time. Screw it. Let's just use it. Got to do some SP healing shortly here. I mean, I want uh, to the. The way that I had been told about it was that I wasn't like out for a minute or two or anything. It was like, it was like more of a shock response. Like, 
and then you're back. Like you just kind of like pop out and pop back in, kind of deal. Um, mm. All right. Well. Okay. But yeah, no, I, I, I probably should have wanted to go to the hospital. Ultimately, I was fine. I don't, I don't know if they checked me for a concussion or anything like that. But my mom was rip shit, and rightly so. Uh, it was, it was uh, not my favorite day. Nearly uh, in the hospital when nearly passed out trying to get out of the bed once. Oh, geez, yeah, yeah, that's not a great. I mean, granted, it's the best. It's the best time to. Uh, to, it's the best place to find that out, I suppose. I'd rather find out something is up with me while I'm already at a hospital than discovering it later on. All right, let's do. Because I don't think maybe this is the floor. If I see an enemy, I'm using some SP heals. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 10 SP is kind of nothing, though. Let's do that for now. That should be fine. All right. Oh, yeah. Weak to Mudo. Oh, it was a baby tooth. Yeah, I still, somehow, I still got all my teeth. Uh, it was a baby tooth. Um, I mean, there's, I don't, it was not one that was loose. So it definitely shouldn't have been falling out of my head. But, uh, uh, um, hey, Jack Frost. Definitely not one that was supposed to be falling out of my head. But it would have eventually. Uh, yeah, I still got all the real ones. I had braces when I was like, I don't know, 12, 13, 14, somewhere around there. No, hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like right at the end of grade school before high school. So it would have been around 13, 14. Uh, let's let Illigor go. More crooked crosses. What about it is crooked? That's what I want to know. Or is it a... If we're going strictly biblical, is it a crooked cross? Like a shepherd's crook. This is a battle, uh, a boss area, isn't it? Because otherwise, you really don't seem to wind up with these loops. Oh, this was the second one of these. So what I might do, I might go to 8 and then bail on this for now, because I'm starting to use up more and more of my stuff, and I would like to go check out the Contrarian King. It's going to take a hot second to get there. How far from a level am I right now? 7,000. Ugh. But I suppose if I wind up seeing more of the uh, more golden hands, that'll be a good sign. But oh, hello! Yeah. Let's go run past these guys. Fuck it. You guys okay? All right. Do 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 we have anything good after that? Yeah we do. Revival bead, fuck yeah. Alright. Cause originally I was like, oh I'll get up to the top floor of this and then I'll try taking on the second dude here. But like let's let's just Odds are I'm not going to be able to beat it anyway. 
I return to the entrance. Do, 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 do. How much would it cost to heal? That's way too much. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll leave it for now, and the next time we come in here, I'll, I'll go and fight the uh, Contrarian King. All right. Oh, another paper. Another piece of paper. Fly. Where am I going, you ask? Don't ask stupid questions. I don't need a map. I throw away my compass. My heart will show me the way. <laughs> I walk by myself. Am I not lonely, you ask? Yeah, right. I scorn the company of my own shadow. Okay. Freedom. That is the rule. Why don't you try and hold me down? I will die magnificently in front of you. No one can break my wings. All right. Marie seems to be all about the uh, the goth poetry. Man, you got to stop leaving this in places. Don't have to read that stuff. That's my rule. I live here. My house. My rules. Hey, you stupid rule breaker. I can't believe this. I don't understand. I remember putting it away. Oh, is somebody taking that out specifically to fuck with both of you? Oh, boy. Uh, skill cards. Give. Mazio being in there is quite good. Dodge fire is also really good to have in there. Dodge fire now being something we can buy is pretty fucking great. Um... Can the cards be used on anyone's personas? Or just your own? Cause if they can if they can be used on anyone's only yours. Damn it. Ah, oh, because I was like, if I could give that to Chie, that'd probably be pretty good. And Triesto as something that is a permanent go home is pretty nice too. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Uh Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Log protect. What does that fucking mean? Rescue, let's go. Everyone hold out. Okay, I'll do that, I guess. I don't know. Uh, check compendium. Register personas. Yup. Yup, so now we have a maxed out High Pixie. We should definitely merge her. Oh, no, I do not want to register this. The other Kyushi I've had is significantly better. This is, this is pretty clearly the reason why you'd want to go in here manually instead of just going, yeah, give them, put them all in there. Okay, Fuse, Personas. What's the Fusion Forecast? Nothing. Okay. Moon and Devil on the next day. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Good Lord, we have a lot of fucking options today. What the fuck, man? Jesus. That's fucking nuts. All right, let's try to... All right, High Pixie, King Frost, Ipanditara. This one doesn't even use High Pixie. Does use Rakshasa though, who's about to get Dodge Physical, so I don't want to give up Rakshasa. A little worried about putting too many big ones together. Because I'm missing out on some of those really good skills getting passed on. Hmm. Uh, Let's do. Yeah, I think I think I will do this. 
So weak to fire and dark. That's going to be important that I'm weak to dark. Uh... Let's see if any of these are ones that are going to get learned automatically. Okay, weak to fire, so let's add dodge fire. Uh, growth is obviously really good. Healing is good. Oh, we got two more to work with here. Shit. Uh, ice break might be good. I have Diorama, so let's not worry about Dia. Patra is kind of good right now. Uh, I think I'm going to keep Zeonga. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Let's get some levels. Haven't had any accidents yet. I wish I'll always remain by your side. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Panic boost is next. All right. Yeah, I mean, the break spells are probably going to be more useful on our buddies than on us, just because they're locked into their type. Kyushi and Ganga. Oh, I don't really want to merge my Ganga down. I really don't want to merge my Ganga or my Rakshasa right now. What options do I have that do not use up either of those two? Okay, there's one. Bareth, Lilim, and Anzu. Okay. Obarian, Ganga. Oh, okay, so not that one then. Bareth, Lilim, Anzu. Hmm. All right, let's do this one. Okay, so... Nullifies fire, weak to ice. Only get to pass on two, huh? Uh, let's do Mudo. Okay. Let's get some experience points. Yeah. Okay. Fire break. Maka jam. Twenty nine. Almost to dodge ice already. God damn. Are there any that do not involve Rakshasa, Hwapo, or Ganga? There is Vitala, Kishi and Oberion. Oberion and Jack Frost. Do this one. It's hilarious. Okay. Uh, weak to fire. Strong to dark and wind. That's cool. Hmm. Let's do those. 
fine. Hey, buddy. You shall have my strength at your disposal. It's more of a horse sound than an elephant sound, but that's fine. My lips are too dry right now to do an elephant noise. I think that's basically everybody that we're going to be able to manage in this session. That's fine. We'll save. Let's get out of here. Quit exploring. Bye bye bye. Ah, you're back. Ah, this guy. Hi there. Adachi. This is the guy who's going to turn out to be a complete Enka freak, and he's murdering people to impress her. Because why the hell not? You want some meal too? Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. <laughs> well, excuse me. It's delicious, though. <laughs> I can't believe it was on sale. Sorry, but this guy eats instant noodles every day. Oh, my God. Constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. Amazing. You don't have to bluff like that. <laughs> you just wanted to eat dinner with a coworker, right? Sure, whatever. Don't be stupid. <laughs> but eel was a great choice. Nanako-chan loved it, at least. I'd say she's eerily proud of her daddy. <laughs> <sighs> Did my joke slip away? It is an eel after all. Adachi, stop. <laughs> Just eat your dinner. Uh. Yes, sir. <laughs> Nanako-chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. Okay. Every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. She's a kid. I don't know any kids who ever, including myself, were like, "Ooh, I gotta, I need to savor the mm, the texture and the and the rich flavors of the." I did not. I was not really that focused on like anything more than like this tastes good until I don't know. I was a teenager, basically. Oh, I should savor eel. I don't know, man. I don't know. You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. Why are these two friends? I have not had onigiri before. Or, well, wait, no. No, I don't know if I ever have. I'm not big on seafood in general. It where it hurts. Oof. Sushi, sushi, I'm able to, sushi and sashimi stuff I'm able to do reasonably well, but it's like always tuna and occasionally salmon, and that's kind of it. So I told you about getting a motorcycle license. What's the matter? I would like to consult with you about getting a motorcycle license. A motorcycle? You mean a scooter? <laughs> oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. Scooters? I mean, yeah. Uh, I don't know, though. Come on, don't be a spoil sport. It's no surprise he once went out here. I understand how you feel since I'm from the city myself. Yeah, how long have you been here, Adachi? Trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Mm hmm. Sure, yeah, it's a hassle. Right? It's criminal. What would you know about being criminal? You say that, but... That reminds me. I remember you telling me something once, Dojima-san. About some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle. Oh, telling on him. You moron. Oh, right. Onigiri is the right... I'm missing it up with... um. Done eating? Hurry and oh, God. What am I missing? Up? Um. Oh, my God. Is it just Nigiri? No. What the hell is it? There's some. There's something that sounds similar. I'm mixing that up with. Um, I don't know if I've. I don't know if I've had. I may have had. It, I may have had onigiri like once or twice back in college, but there was not exactly a lot of a lot of places where that uh, where that was being made or prepared around me. Yes. Yeah. 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 That is what I'm thinking of. Yes. Um, which like is fine. I mean, it's basically isn't it just a, like a sashimi esque thing, but with rice. P P P P P. It's me. Hmm. All right. We'll be there soon. Wow, they didn't have time to say anything at all. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. 
Yeah, that green tea is really gonna fuck you up, man. Adachi, you were the one in charge of that file, right? That file? File? Oh, did that suspicious guy show up again? Would you keep your mouth shut? We're going back. Get in the car. Back? You mean to the station? But I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. Adachi, go. G goodbye. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. About yeah, this license. Texture's always a... Decide on this yourself. No one talked you into it. Texture's always kind of a thing for me. So, like, you know, when, like f just stuff like that in general uh, is, like, a little bit tricky with me sometimes. I know it's hard without a way to get around. But two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? This is an interesting set here. I'll be careful with it. I want you to trust me. Do this one. I'm sure I can trust you to do that. Okay. But allowing you to get one is another thing. Hmm. Don't give me that face. Uh. First, Whoops. need a license. Didn't mean to do that. We can talk about this again when you have one. Well then, sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house. <laughs> Thanks. P P P P. Oh, I just phased that right through my shirt. Yo, it's me. How did it go with your uncle? I've been on the edge of oh my, my god. The most well timed phone call. Seriously? Then let's go get ours as soon as we can. I gotta hit the books. Let's make sure we both pass together. Alright. You promise to go with him to the exam site with him tomorrow. Hmm. Review the manual Yosuke gave you and study for the license exam. All right. Guess we're doing that then, huh? Yeah. Oh, you don't look so good, man. Went to bed, but little details kept bugging me, so I'd get up again to check the manual. It never ended. I ended up almost getting no sleep at all. Well, if we're going to do this, let's pass on the first try. How are you feeling? It'll be a breeze, I guess. Up close and personal plan. Make sure we're not late to the exam. We'll leave as soon as, soon as school's out. All right. Yeah. He's just hanging out outside. He's like, hey, he's gone. All right, I guess we're going right away. I'll drop off my items later, I guess. Okay. Yay! Scooter license. Cool. Excuse me. Yay! On the first try. Yeah. Just like we planned. Right, he should just take a take a big dump for a while until he feels better. Was pretty easy. I might have studied a little too hard. Yosuke. Oh my god, is the gas station attendant going to be a weirdo with this? Isn't that basically where we ran into Marie the first time? We just stopped by to get gas. Oh. And, well, to take care of some minor business. Where did you guys go? Get, don't be rude. Already? Good. <laughs> They made you a card already? It was just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. You mean after we talked last night? Oh, well. Looks like I better think of a way to convince my sister. <laughs> I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. Uh, technically, you can, but I'm glad you're not. Your enthusiasm is catching. All right. Yes, you got the okay. I need to head home and read through the catalog. <laughs> well, see you tomorrow. Good. <laughs> All right. Mind if I borrow you a sec before you head back home? Why? Hey, Adachi. I just finished filling it up. You're, you're supposed to use the nozzle, not... It's not important. Oh. Sorry for dragging you into this. 
This is my scooter. Okay. I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. Cool. I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. I'm letting you have it. It's also kind of weird that there's only a written exam. I thought I might someday, but I always use a car for work, so I never get a chance. All right. I'd rather you use it than have it sit around collecting dust. <laughs> You're always so strict at the station, but you're a cool dad inside, huh? Oh, God. Shut up, Adachi. Gah. You always yell at me. Yeah, you're my least favorite son. Still, I wish we had a sleek means of transportation like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will Oh, he's going to throw the thing at your head. Hasn't he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's houses from the Amagi Inn to around here? Looks like he knows the back Oh my god, Adachi. So a car won't be. Would you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. Now again, he could just be an idiot, or he could be intentionally filtering this stuff to us, knowing that we're involved already. In order to I don't know. Well, anyway. Keep pushing it in until we fuck up. I was around your age when I got my license too. I took the test behind my parents' back. When my dad caught me riding a scooter later on, he gave me a good thrashing. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> Don't tell Nanako about that, okay? That her grandfather beat her dad? Yeah. Uh. Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just... Be safe. Well, that's good. I don't know Japanese traffic laws. You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise me? Alrighty. Good. I'll hold you to that. As you ride around and get a feel for the local roads, you'll be able to go to more places. Hmm. Well, let's try riding around the neighborhood, I guess. Okay. I'm going to say it's the train station. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, it's a good way to get... Oh, hey, nice. I'm going to say this, this is not the worst way to get some courage. Welcome back. Oh. Oh, yeah. Jinki Fundoshi. Uh, let's see. Who can wear it? Whoa, that is some good evasion. Hey, uh, Kanji. Got something for you, buddy. Jeez, holy shit. Alright, nobody wants me for anything. Aw, oh, sweet. Let's go and read the last chapter of the book. Inside the TV tomorrow. I don't know, maybe. Boop. Read. Let's do it. Now we can start doing work. You have finished reading Witch Detective. Your understanding has increased. Your diligence has significantly increased. I'm so diligent. Hell yeah. I'm the most diligent guy I know because I don't know anyone else's stats. Hi. Who do you think will show up on the Midnight Channel next? I heard it's not it's going to rain this evening, but it's not going to last all night. Hey, have you been trying to solve the case on your own in your spare time? I know I should be thinking about it, too, but that kind of stuff just isn't my specialty. How about you? I, I could see either, like, I, I would want to pick this one, but I could also see this one as being kind of like, um... 
No, uh, uh, sympathizing a little bit, right? This could become a, this could come off as kind of rude. Let's do this one. Me too. I move before I think. Well, everyone has strengths and weaknesses. I'll stick to kicking things. Some like this are perfect for working out. Okay. Might not have mattered at all, too. A license, but you're still familiar with the town. You should take your scooter for a ride today. But I just said that I was going to go to... Uh... Oh, that's amazing. So perfect. Oh, uh, I can only give you this to thank you for your work. Ointment. I, am, I really am grateful. Pairing this up with the angel is sure to boost his luck power. Okay. The, the little phone calls about, hey, we should go in the TVs are just there to remind you that that is an option, right? Like, that doesn't do anything special, I assume. I play again already in the middle of Rebirth. Oh, boy, yeah. I, I definitely find myself with too many things. Plenty O times. Uh, it's a raining. Let's go buy some super croquettes. They don't increase anything important. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, what was the mission about the cat? Haven't done the cabbage yet. Please feed the cat. Feed the cat in Samegawa, presumably with fish. Give her a board for a new desk. Oh, practice building second floor. I don't think I've fought the tables again yet, so... Let's drop off my stuff. Okay. Zweihanda. Rain Skinner. Silk Fan. Arazuyu Fan. Punk Shoes. Okay. So with you. I think I like the audio shoes right now. The attack that far up is just too nice. Uh, Yukiko. So right now, 80-90. This will be better than both, but doesn't have the magic boost. That one's better than that also. And resist silence. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. The plus three in magic is pretty good, but honestly, not being able, like, less likely to be silenced is pretty good as well. Uh, no, not at the moment. Yasugami desk. Oh my god, it does double his attack. It's all school stuff. Oh my god. Hi, Honda. Plus one endurance. Uh, and yeah, it's a pretty good jump in stuff. EI was from here at the very least. Rain Skinner. Eh, all, plus all ailments high. The plus 40 SP is pretty cool. I don't use ailment based stuff too often. Uh, we'll skip, w stick with what I got there. Oh yeah, the combat dress. Yeah, Chia, maybe I should give you something decent here, huh? You. All right. I think 
going to go sell stuff. I was debating not selling some of these weapons and things because they seem to be unique, but also... The only thing that I know that I want to hang on to is the, uh, is the, uh, Gentleman's Tux. Um... This one we bought here anyway. Yeah, the rest of these... Hunting Nada, Nanman Gusoku. Okay, those were also ones that we bought here. But these were ones that were not. Interesting, the festival fan... Festival fan is basically not worth selling. That's interesting. Uh, no need to keep weapons you can get in a shop. I don't recall if Margaret asked for stuff there. Drop stars from dungeons. Yeah, anything that's not being sold here, I think I'm going to not get rid of. So let's see. Combat dress, chain mail. So chain mail is the only one of those that find to sell. Accessories. I'm going to hang on to them just because most of them are not... Uh, those are surprisingly expensive, but... And most of them kind of aren't worth selling in the first place, so... And then these are going to be useful for the stuff at night if I ever get back in there. I also didn't make a whole lot of money off the stuff I was selling anyway. Uh, let's, maybe we can go home and do some work. Wait, I can't, because that'll advance it to the evening. So let's go eat a bowl of stuff. Actually, did I want to do something? This is just a normal item shop during the day, right? Oop, these are all new. 50 points electric, 50 points wind. 50 points damage to all enemies, fire to all enemies. Med kits, 200 HP to all. Ointment is to one. Let's buy some of that. Let's go eat a bowl of ramen. Should that eat special meatballs? Uh I think these are gonna uh hmm. Well this is also it's rainy, so this is really like the best time to go do this. And this is one that I think raises a bunch of stats at once, so I think I'm gonna stick with this for now. I think on non rainy days I'll ride I'll ride the scooter though. All right, here we go. You're unable to finish your meal in your current state. Oh, I didn't raise any of my stuff. Oh, no, okay. Knowledge is increased. Courage is increased. Diligence increased. All right. And we went back home. All right, let's do some actual work. Oh, wait, no, it's raining tonight. Shit. Oh, no, it isn't. It's not lasting. That's right. So, yeah, see benefits of working. Making envelopes is a steady job that cultivates your diligence. Your pay will increase as your diligence improves. Translation cultivates your expression. Okay. Origami cranes cultivates your understanding. You won't earn money for doing it. I think I wanted my understanding to go up for a different job. So I'm not going to make money from it, but I'm reasonably sure that I wanted to be doing this so that I could get another job that wanted more understanding. All right, for a person you've never met. Getting tired of folding nothing but cranes over and over. 
Make other animals cheer yourself up. Crazy, cheer yourself up. Okay, huh. I feel like if I made other animals, that would be bad, right? The whole point was that I was trying to that I was supposed to be doing origami cranes. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go and do the the daycare thing. May as well do that, and then we'll probably call it shortly after that. Not today. Not today, everybody. That's true. I can. I may as well go look. I did get a couple of those to bump up, so. I should also check the shrine. Bug catching net. Plan to go talk with my friends, though. What? You want to go rude? We're on a date. How rude. Okay, that's all the same as before. Whoop, sorry. What am I getting stuck on? Except the Emma's request. Oh, not right now. Not right now. Oh, no. Wonder if I have to draw a fortune or do the Emma to uh, to get the bug. Oh, god damn it! Get the bug catching net back. Oh. Hmm. All right. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. That's right. Advancing a quest, a request, or accepting a request isn't going to move anything. Want things to go well with the person I like. Okay. If you fulfill the wish on the Emma, your relationship with the frogs may go stronger. Yeah. Yep. Well, there's these two right here. Star our fortunes. I want to find out I'm going to marry. Yeah, this is the same as... So maybe it's not this one then. Boo -doo -boo -boo -doo -doo -doo. I probably don't even know this, but Inaba used to be a very prosperous town back in the day. It was a coal mining town, and everyone was tough. There were never any of the weird events you have nowadays. You could see the passion for life in everyone's eyes back then. Oh, boy. Staying and listen will probably advance time. I will do that on another day. What was I doing up here? I was... Bus station. Oh, actually, no. I was going to look at the at the board first. Diligence required. Hey! What about the others here? Okay. Okay, don't have enough understanding for that yet. Got it. So did he murder? Yeah, all right. You free? Sure. You know, wedding veil is. Okay. When his marriage wears a veil, I was told it prevents demons from making her grow horns after the wedding. Mother in law insisted that I wear one. It's outrageous that you'd even consider not wearing one. She always did what she wanted in life. I'm not joking. She didn't. She really didn't like me, not at all. No, I refused to wear a veil. We ended up getting into a shouting match during the wedding ceremony. Before I knew it, here I am, just as old as she was, shouting and getting angry at everybody. Say my horns finally fell out or something, wouldn't you? Anyway, I thought I should hang some some horns above my bed as a symbol of how I'm turning my outlook on life around. Okay. Nobody sells them. Okay. Grand horn. Alrighty. Yeah, I'll go talk to that guy since I don't think it's actually gonna 
move time forward. I was worrying about the town really tires me out. It sounds like this a sauna would be nice. Yeah, saunas are great. If you can't get coal, problem is I can't get my hands on any. Okay. You bring coal. I don't think I have any. Oh, and a sauna. Okay. Rugged looking fellows are so probably the Hulk Hogan looking guys. Alright. Giant beetle would have horns. Alright. So also in the sauna. Probably pretty high up there, actually. Oh. Hi. Um. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh. Mm, no, not yet. Wow, okay. Let's go check this out. Okay, you're introduced to the children as an assistant caretaker. The children are extremely interested in you. Mister, do you have a girlfriend? Oh my god. Do you know that, you creep? Let's play tag. All right, you're it. Survive the children tugging you in every direction. All right. Oop, hi. There's one boy remaining. It seems his guardian hasn't come to pick him up. Uh, it's like you, Takun, is still here. It's always like this, though. Oh, you, Kun. Oh, we got a voice on this lady. All right. Are you one of the supervisors? I see. I'm sure you... Okay. Hmm. Yuta Minami. He's full of energy during his play sessions. Maybe too much energy. But once she arrives, he's a totally different kid. She's a stepmother, so I guess it can't be helped. Okay. You Yuta Kun's father got remarried to that woman you just met. Heard from the city. I really don't know what she's thinking. Perhaps that's why Yuta Kun is a troublemaker at school, too. The other day, he... Bibbity boobity bobbity boob. Yeah, it's not a bad it's not a bad thing to be picking up on. And some money too. Chain half bad. Welcome home. Thank you. Let's go harvest. I gotta make sure for this next batch of cabbages to uh to upkeep it so I can give it to the other give it to the lady. Cause I want more than two. I might get three, but I assume I'm only going to get two since cabbages are kind of big. All right. Ta-da! Yay! All right, well, I think I'm going to save right here. So I think this is where we're going to call it for tonight. we got a decent amount of stuff done. We don't quite have our next, like, mystery started out yet, but we've got a good amount of things going on. We've got a lot of tasks we can do during the day now, too, so that's pretty cool. Um, when we come back next time, I guess we're going to be... Hopefully, we'll be finding out what the next uh, chapter is going to be looking like, like who we're going to be saving and all of that, so that'll be pretty cool. Uh, other streams coming up. Uh, I am probably going to be streaming uh, tomorrow night, maybe around, like, 9 I'm hoping to get the rest of Undertale Yellow finished. I, I'm actually going to awake, but I think I'm going to be getting back early enough to be able to stream. Uh, Sunday, I think, is supposed to be the Barrow Trauma finale. Uh, and getting into next week, I think Dave is doing is doing something on Monday, though he's still figuring out what. I should be back with this on Tuesday. And then, I don't know, if I think Jeff is taking a couple weeks off. So I'll be back with... Uh, with I may not stream Thursday night, especially if I finished Undertale Yellow's main thing, just because I want to be able to sleep for the weekend that comes after that. So uh, there will be more coming in the next couple days, uh, more info about things that are coming up. But thank you guys very, very much for I think it was a pretty solid stream. Uh, and, yeah, we'll be. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where we're going from here. So I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one, and bye. We're all trumpets, I'm based on relationships.